Today, you can wash your laundry with energy. Solo Energy. Solo does more than regular detergents. Solo has the energy of a heavy-duty detergent and the energy of a double-action fabric softener. Both work simultaneously. Jeans. In they go muddy. Solo has the energy to overpower muddy dirt. Oh, they come clean. Solo has the energy to clean muddy knees. Towels. In they go scratchy. Solo has the energy to soften better than regular detergents. Out they come soft. Solo has the energy to flop towels high up. Socks. Slips. In they go together. Solo has the energy to break up static better than regular detergents. Out they come untogether. Solo has the energy to fight static cling. No regular detergent can do all that Solo energy can do. Solo energy. There's a feeling in the air that you can't get anywhere except in Louisville. I taste a thousand yesterdays and I love the magic ways of Louisville. From the river close at hand, I can look across the land and see you touch the sky. It's like living with a wife. This is Gary Collins. On the next Hour Magazine, we'll meet Mrs. David Horowitz, Suzanne. To go shopping with David is a trip. How not to embarrass your teenager. If your 17-year-old comes home from a date, sure you want to know what they did. You'd love to know what's going on. Don't ask them. And columnist Shirley Eater. My advice, Tom Selleck, right. keep your mouth closed when you kiss. We make every hour count for you. Tomorrow afternoon at 1230, here on 11. On Action 11 tonight, at least 30 sailors die as an Argentine missile sinks a British destroyer near the Falkland Islands. We'll have the latest on the crisis there. The votes are being counted in the Indiana primary. Melissa Forsyth will have the results. United Parcel and the Teamsters head off a strike. Rick Redmond shows how to make the best impression on, on a job interview. Dave Conrad has sports and Chuck Taylor has a changing weather forecast. Action 11 is next. Surprise! Surprise! Every Tupperware party is a surprise party because Tupperware is always coming up with surprising new ways to save you money by locking in freshness. Tupperware containers that marinate. Keep your pasta straight. Pack a punch. Get an A in lunch. Keep a cereal scrunch. So come to a Tupperware party and if you give one yourself, surprise! You could get a great gift. To go to a Tupperware party or give one, call toll-free 1-800-228-3600. I should have used Betty Crocker Creamy Deluxe. I should have used Betty Crocker Creamy Deluxe. Betty Crocker Creamy Deluxe. The frosting more people use than any other brand because it's buttercream creamy. So next time, every time, spread Creamy Deluxe and... You and Betty Crocker can. Glad I used Betty Crocker Creamy Deluxe. Make someone happy. The WHAS Crusade for Children salutes the Oklahoma Volunteer Fire Department and invites you to join us for this year's crusade on May 22nd and 23rd. All the news that's important to you on Action 11. Brought to you in part by Liberty National Bank. Make a brilliant deduction with a Liberty IRA. Action 11, Kentuckiana's number one news broadcast with Jim Mitchell and Jackie Hayes, Chuck Taylor with weather, and Dave Conrad with sports. Good evening, I'm Jim Mitchell. And I'm Jackie Hayes. The score remains one apiece in the South Atlantic tonight. Argentina has lost one ship and nearly 360 men, and today Britain suffered its first casualty, the loss of a ship and 30 men. Argentina even the score today by aiming for and hitting one of Britain's most modern destroyers, the Sheffield. An Argentine jet fired the missile from 20 miles away. The news stunned the world and Britain. 
the ship caught fire, which spread out of control. When there was no longer any hope of saving the ship, the ship's company abandoned ship. All who abandoned her were picked up. It is feared that there have been a number of casualties. The U.S. in the meantime is beginning to pull people out of Buenos Aires because of Argentina's anger over our support of Britain. In a separate attack today, Argentina said it shot down two British jets. Britain confirms only one jet went down. The United Parcel Service and the Teamsters tonight have a tentative agreement averting a threatened shutdown tomorrow. Union leaders won't comment on details, saying their 80,000 members still have to vote on the new contract. Company officials, however, are reportedly in good spirits, as are postal workers who've been trying to come up with contingency plans if the nation's largest package carrier went on strike. UPS moves about one and a half billion packages a year, compared to the post office's half a million. They're still adding up the votes in Indiana's primary election. This is an off-year election with only one statewide office up for grabs. Voter turnout has been light. Action 11's Melissa Forsyth has been following the races tonight. Melissa? And we're still following them because things are far from decided, Jim. The hottest issue is that Democratic nomination for U.S. Senate to determine who will square off against Republican incumbent Richard Lugar in the fall. As expected, incumbent Democratic 2nd District Congressman Floyd Fithian has the edge. This is with 31 percent of the precincts reporting 58 to 52 margin over State Senator Mike Kendall of Jasper. He entered that race at Fithian's urging before the congressman decided decided himself to try for the nod. All 10 U.S. congressional seats are up. Seven of those incumbents are unopposed. In the 9th District, incumbent Democrat Lee Hamilton does not know tonight who he will challenge in the fall, who he will be challenged by in the fall. There are only 17% of the precincts reporting so far, and it is neck and neck between Floyd Coates, 37 years old from Scottsburg, and State Senator Joseph Corcoran, who is from Seymour. No Republicans on the ballot in the State Senate's District 45. The Democrats are choosing among four contenders, and so far, very early in the return, it's shaping up to a two-way race between Dewey Arnett, a 61-year-old teacher of, from Sellersburg, and James Lewis, who's a 51-year-old contractor from Charlestown. Again, that's very early and far from decided. In District 46, the State Senate, now Clay Baird used to be in District 45, but the Republicans remapped, so he's in 46 now. And it looks like these are our results that we have uh, got tonight from Democratic headquarters in Floyd and Clark County. We combine them, and it looks like he is the clear winner in District 46. No Republican filed for the State House 66.